Kakadosh Bokatov. I'm just going to mention a few different halachot. First of all, we're going to be doing Hatarat Nedarim immediately right after Shacharit. There will be a second one also after the second Shacharit. Please make sure that when you're doing it, if you need to do it for your wife, so therefore that she appoints you a Shaliach, a messenger, in order to do it for her. Another important halacha is basically going to be an incredible segula to be zoche be mishpat in Yom Rosh Hashanah. Rav Mutzafi brings down from the Rabbi Chaim Falatche in Muelu Cholchai that he comes down and brings the words of Rav Yosef, Chodzorech Misloniki. This is one of the Mekubalim. He comes and he says, anybody that says on Erev Rosh Hashanah, the first 11 Pesukim of Parashat Ki Tavo, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to spread a cruise. He's going to spread a, a sound or he's going to announce in the Rakia and the Firmament Ve'omer and he says, Gaviti me'azdam ze kol achovot. I have already accepted from this person all of his debts. Umochel al chatotav. And therefore I'm going to come and I'm going to forgive him for his sins. If you remember last year we explained the entire concept was is that this concept of the first 11 psukim of Kitavo was Bikurim. It had to do with thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu for everything. And when we come on Erev Rosh Hashanah, we're thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu for everything that He's given us, whether it's through our lives or the entire year. So then HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes and He says, this person is thankful, he has no more sins, I forgive him for all the sins. Obviously, it does not mean Chas Shalom that now he could sin whatever he wants, but it just means that he has already taken all his debts, all the debts that we owe to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he will forgive. So therefore, it's very, very important, right, just to say these first 11 psukim. I will put it on the WhatsApp so that way everyone could actually see it over there. Or if not, you just take a regular chumash, parashat kitavo, which is in Sefer Devarim. You're going to have the first 11 psukim that you will be able to read it today. That is going to be today before nightfall, before shakiyah, before sunset. Another important halacha is to do with Tehilim on Rosh Hashanah. We know that Tehilim is very, very good for judgment. We spoke about this to do with Teshuvah. And therefore, there is an inyan to read Tehilim on Rosh Hashanah. Some people will try Lecha to read on each day an entire sefer of Tehilim. And if you cannot, some people will split it and they'll do one Tehilim within both days. Right? But whichever one it is, it is very important to read Tehilim on Rosh Hashanah. It is that uh, what David Amelech comes and he says, that he said that, how could it be? That HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we don't want judgment, because if not, who could, right? which means that who's going to actually be judged favorably? And if David HaMelech was worried, so imagine ourselves, and the Tehilim is very important to save us from judgment. So therefore, it is important to read the Tehilim throughout the entire two days, or the while, you know, you split it up, whichever one it is, if you don't have enough time, in order to do the Tehilim throughout Rosh Hashanah, everyone should have obviously a Shana Tovah.